All right then, so there's a couple of different ways that we can use images inside our Flutter apps. We can use either a network image, which is where we go out and we grab an image from the web that's already hosted somewhere, or we can use an asset image, and that means that we're using an image from our source files over here. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of these and we're gonna start with the network image. So what I'm gonna do is come down to the body property in the scaffold and we have this center widget and inside we have the text. I'm gonna get rid of the text widget and we're gonna replace this with an image. So to do this, we use the image widget and then inside that we have an image property. Now I said I'm gonna show you how to do a network image first of all. So to do that, we say network image like so and we need to pass through here a url to that image and we also need to make sure we spell image correctly like that okay so now i've gone to unsplash already and i found a space image that i really like so i'm going to right click that and i'm going to go to copy image location to get the url then i'm going to go back to my editor and i'm going to paste that url inside this network image like this quite long but there we go now if i save this hopefully we're going to see an image over here cool it all works so that's it that's how simple it is to get a network image showing on your app now the other way to use an asset image is slightly more complex but not overly what i'm going to do is undo this and undo that paste and i'm going to change this into an asset image instead now we need to paste in a URL to our image right here, but this time it's gonna be like a local URL because our image is gonna be stored over here somewhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is right click my app and go to new and then go to directory and I'm gonna call this assets. And then I'm gonna store my images inside this folder. So let me open up my downloads. I've already downloaded three space images from that Unsplash website and I've called them space one, space two and space three. I'm just gonna drag them into that assets folder right there. So then we should be able to use them. So if I expand this, we're gonna see space one, two, and three, and they're all JPEG files. Now, before we actually use these, before we offer a URL to these different images inside the asset image, we need to say inside our pubspec file over here that we want to use these images as our assets. So let's open up this. And it's gonna be very similar to how we set up the fonts, but we need to scroll up a little bit from the fonts until we come to this thing over here where it says assets. So I'm gonna uncomment that, and then I'm going to, oops, delete the space here that we have so it becomes flush, and bring these two in as well. Now they're fine as they are. Okay, so it was just this one. You need to bring flush with this line. Okay, so now what we need to do is say, okay, where are our assets stored, which assets do we want to use? And we can see right here, there's a couple of examples already. It says it's in the images folder, then a dot .bur and then a dot .ham. So we don't need these because they don't exist. Instead, we want to do inside the assets folder and then forward slash and then whatever the name is, so space hyphen one dot JPEG. So I'm just gonna do one of them for now. I'm gonna save this, then go back to main.dart and I'm gonna click get dependencies. This always happens when we change our pubspec file. It's always a good idea just to click get dependencies to make sure everything's up to date. And then what I'm going to do is add in the URL to this thing right here. So it's from the root folder. So I say, go into the assets folder first of all, then get the space hyphen one dot JPEG image. So if we save this now, hopefully this should work and it does. But if we try to get the space two image, then this is not gonna work. And that's because we've not declared that we want to use space two here. We could do that. We could come down to the next line and say assets and then space hyphen two dot JPEG. And then this will work. If I save it and then come over here, this does work. Okay, let me just click get dependencies, get rid of that notification. But if we had a lot of different images, say, I don't know, 15 in total, then we'd be writing all 15 of them out like this. And that's a waste of time and space. So instead, what we could do is just write out the assets folder like this and save it. And then what that allows us to do is use any images directly inside this assets folder. If it's in another folder inside that folder, then it might not work, but we need to just declare the folder name to use any assets directly inside that folder. So if we save this 
and then go back to main.dart. I'm going to click get dependencies. You can see this still works. If we do space one, that is hopefully still going to work. And also space three, that works as well. So just two steps. All we need to do is declare our images or assets or the folder where they are stored inside the assets option in the pubspec file. Then we need to just do a URL to that asset inside the asset image widget. Okay. So then there are two different types of image we can use a network image and an asset image. Now, instead of writing this all the time, Flutter has given us some shortcuts to do these two types of image. So what we could do instead is just delete all this and then say image dot asset and then the URL. So that's going to be assets and then forward slash space hyphen one dot JPEG, for example, and this will still work. So we don't need an image widget and then nest an image property inside it with the asset image widget as well. We can just say image dot asset as a shortcut and then do the same thing. And the same applies for image dot network. Obviously we need to update the URL. So I'm going to go to copy image location again and paste this in like so save it. And we should be able to see that image as well. So they're shortcuts for adding images. Now, just a quick side note, I know that at the moment we're only adding one bit of content to the page in the body at a time. Now, this is going to change in the future so that we can have multiple bits of text and images, etc. showing on the page at the same time. I just want to show you a few basic widgets that we can use first. Then we're going to start playing around with layout and adding more stuff to the app.